Hi, it's Mark Michelle Rock. I'm going to show you how to find or change your current IP settings in your SB9100 system. I have an offline program right here. I'm not connected, going to connect to anything, but I will show you this information. So, how to find it? Well, once you do connect, you download all your information. You'll go to 10, 12, 01, and this is your primary IP address. So this is the default IP address for if you're not hooked up to anything and you're just um, plugging directly into the system. This is the, the default IP address. So this is your your IP, your gate, your subnet, and your gateway, and we have DNS one and two here. If you don't have a view IP card, that's all you need. So if you make changes, you'll change make your changes to the IP scheme. You'll upload them. And then it's important you must disconnect from the system and then you go over to the phone system and actually power down, power the system off. And once it's completely off, then you can turn it back on and the new settings will take effect. If for any reason you forget to disconnect during this process and you turn the system off, it will not change the IP scheme on it. Okay? Um, also, to change your, your, your if you have a VIP card, you need to make this setting, the 10.1201, make it the octet four zeros. And that's when you use this setting down here in 09. That would be your primary IP address right here, your subnet mask, DNS1, DNS2, and your gateway. You would save that information. And then you have to have a secondary IP address in under 10.84. I don't have one, but I have a screenshot of one. Under 10, I mean, excuse me, at under 8426.01, that'd be your secondary IP address. This is actually what the VOIP communicates over when conversations be taking place. If for some reason you put a system in, you have no audio, there's probably something wrong with this. I check it first. Again, you make those changes, upload, and then disconnect and turn up power off and on. If you want to know how to, about the passwords, you come down to uh, 9002. And with the latest software by NEC, the passwords are blotted out where you can't see them. But uh, here's your usernames. This is probably manufacturer one. We don't know this one, this password here. But default, it's tech. And then I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's right there. And then you can change these up and you give different types of access to whoever you. You know, give a, lot, a username, give them a password, and then what kind of access you want them to have. If you're watching this video and you don't know that, you probably shouldn't be playing with it. But <laughs> anyways, that's that. Uh, if you have any more questions, just email us here at the help desk. That's helpdesk at shotrock.com. S-H-O-T-R-O-K.com. Thanks.